again for Tennessee, Tuxedo and his tail. The Megopolis Zoo today was a very special occasion. Happy birthday, Tennessee. Happy birthday to you. Thank you, Chumley. I'm, uh, I'm speechless. Uh, gee, Tennessee, you don't have to speak. Just blow. Blow out the candles. All right. <laughs> Package for Tennessee Tuxedo. Here you are. Uh, gee, Tennessee, what's in the big box? How should I know? Open it up. Uh, okay, Tennessee. That's it. Now just lift up the top. Hey, 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 hey! Get him off me! Get him off of me! Uh, gee, Tennessee, it's a doggy. Brilliant, Chumley. Nice doggy. There, there. Look, there's a note around his neck. Let's see. It says... Happy birthday from Uncle Admiration. Uncle Admiration? Sure, you remember. Admiration Bird at the South Pole. He says the dog's name is Howard. Good <laughs> <laughs> gee. I guess that's why they call him Howler. <laughs> Stop that ridiculous noise, Howler. Stanley Livingston won't allow dogs in the zoo. Howler has to go. All right, you can stay. I said you can stay. Well, if he's staying, we've got to find a way to hide him before... Listen, someone's coming. All right, where is he? Where is he? I distinctly heard a dog. A dog? Why, you must be hearing things, Stanley. <laughs> uh, maybe you're getting dog ear. Now, don't try to be funny. I'm sure I heard a dog barking. Oh, that! Ah, uh, that was Chumley. Uh, he has a cold with a barking cough. Uh, don't you, Chumley? Uh, now, me, Tennessee. Ow. Demonstrate your barking cough, Chumley. Uh, I can't, Tennessee. I look, I look, I look. <laughs> you see, Stanley, that's what you heard. Hmm. Well, maybe. But just remember, if I do find you have a dog, you'll be scrubbing pots and pans for six months. Pots and pans? Six months? That does it. Get the box, Chumley. We're shipping Howler back where he came from. <coughs> Stanley will hear you. Quiet. Okay, okay, you can stay. I said you can stay. Think, Chumley. We've got to find a place to hide Howler. <laughs> if there is a dog in there, this dog food will prove it. Yeah. I'll just put it here and see what happens. <laughs> So, I know how to fix that dog. Stop that, Howler. Quick, Chumley, get the dog food inside before someone spots Howler taking it. Well, key can it be? Chumley loves dog food, don't you, Chumley? Uh, not me, Tennessee. I... Uh, yes, you are. Uh, I love dog food. <laughs> well, isn't that nice? Here, have some. Well, go ahead, eat, Chumley. Uh, yeah, well, I'm still not convinced. I think you have a dog, and I'll be back. Come on inside, Chumley. We've got to think of a plan. Now then, the question is, where could we hide Howler? Uh, maybe under the rug. Too lumpy. Under the chair? Too long. On the chandelier. Too heavy. No, we've got to get him out of here. Put him someplace where... 
I've got it. That patch of wood down by Megapolis Lake. We'll hide them there. Nobody ever goes into those woods. Yeah, but what about nighttime, Tennessee? The poor old Howler would get howling cold. Well, that's his problem. <laughs> Not again. Cut it out. Stop it. Okay, okay. We'll keep you warm. We'll build you a house. Uh, gee, Tennessee, we don't know how to build a house. No, but Mr. Whoopi does. Come on. We're going to call him and ask him to come over. And soon, Mr. Whoopi, the man with all the answers, rushed to the aid of his friends. the riddle. What is it that asks no questions but gets many answers? Hmm. What is it that asks no questions but gets many answers? I know. A doorbell. <laughs> <laughs> so you see, Mr. Whoopi, we've got to hide Howler in these woods or Stanley will find him and have us washing pots and pans for months. And so, you need a house for Howler, eh? Well, now, I wouldn't want the roof to fall in on you, get it? <laughs> yes. Thanks, Mr. Whoopi. The first question in building any house is material. What material do you want to use? Zowie, Mr. Whoopi, I never thought of that. We don't have any material at all. But of course you do, my boy. You have all these trees here which have been marked for cutting. Oh, that reminds me. Never cut a tree without permission. We can make Howler a fine log cabin doghouse. Here, let me show you. First, we chop down the trees and skin off the branches. That's it. But be careful with those axes. Tools are dangerous if they aren't used properly. Now, our next job is to peel the bark off the logs. Yeah, but gee, Mr. Whoopi, if we peel the logs, we'll have a doghouse with <laughs> no bark. Oh, yes, I get it. But peeling off the bark makes the logs less likely to harbor insects that might eat the wood. So it should be done. Now, our next step is to cut notches in both ends of the logs. Now, why do we cut all those notches? For strength, Tennessee. Watch how it makes the logs fit together tightly. And now you'll see why we've cut some of our logs shorter than others. This is so that the house will have windows and a door. Neat, Mr. Whoopi. What next? The roof. We'll use this large log as a ridge pole to hold up our roof. Then we nail on thin logs for framing and roof rafters. There. That should do it. But look at all those holes in the roof, Mr. Whoopi. Poor old Howler might get wet. Now, now, Howler, it's all right. We haven't put on the shingles yet. Since you can't buy any shingles, you'll have to cut your own. Splitting them off a short, thick chunk of cedar like this. Now we must lay down our shingles. We begin at the edge of the roof, work across, and up. Each shingle must overlap to keep water from leaking into the house. And finally, we use mud to plug up any holes between the logs. That will help to keep Howler nice and warm. Well, I guess that's it. And I have to say it. Phineas J. Whoopi, you're the greatest. But by coincidence, Stanley Livingston was taking a new interest in the woods. Hmm, I heard hammering in there. Who else could it be but Tennessee? And if I'm right, there they are, and the dog is with them. Just wait till I get my hands on... Whoa, oh, oh. Help! Help! Listen, someone Help. must have fallen in the lake. Help! It's Stanley Livingston. Now we're in for it. Okay, Stanley, okay. We'll get rid of Howler. We'll put him away. You will not. This dog, Howler, saved my life. He's going to get the best possible treatment I can give him. And for your sake, I hope you built that house well. Because you're going to live in it. I'm moving Howler into your quarters. No matter what happens, 
we always end up in the doghouse. Tennessee and Chumley will be right back with more cartoon fun.